Hello, I'm Allison Samwitz in the WFT Newsroom for Wednesday, September 21st. Here's your News 90. Mosaic has apologized to Polk County for not addressing the fertilizer plant in Mulberry. A sinkhole opened beneath the gypsum stack in August. According to Mosaic, the contaminated water has not traveled beyond its property lines. It claims there is no danger to wells of nearby homes. The secret got out last night. A chaotic scene erupted in Charlotte, North Carolina last night after an African-American man was shot and killed by a police officer. Protesters claimed that the man in the footage was not armed, while the police claimed he was. The crowd eventually dispersed, but not before a handful of officers were injured in the confrontations with demonstrators. Some demonstrators threw water bottles and rocks at officers, injuring at least 12. Others blocked Interstate 85 and started a fire at the center of the highway. The White House says it's holding Russia responsible for the bombing of a humanitarian convoy in Syria. The Red Cross says about 20 people died in the attack on Monday when trucks carrying food and medicine to thousands of civilians were destroyed. The UN is suspending all operations in Syria for now. Russia denies any involvement. Frankfurt Zoo introduced its newest member of the gorilla enclosure to the world today. The baby gorilla was born last week as part of the zoo's captive breeding program. According to the zoo's director, the baby western lowland gorilla seemed healthy and strong. The the gorilla is exceptionally big for its age. The western lowland gorilla species is threatened by extinction in the wild. And that's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.